Hello, everyone. This is the most intelligent and magnificent bird, Buckbeak, speaking to you today. And in today's video, I will be doing a character review on Gold Mythic Lydia. And before we get started, I hope all of you are doing good and staying safe out there. And how is your faction onslaught going so far? I'm doing good and I'm staying safe for the most part. And my faction's onslaught, it's going so far. So I think we shouldn't waste any time. And I think we should just go ahead and jump into this character review on Gold Mythic Lydia, shall we? Lydia, happily ever after. Her trait is fast. Her role is a damage dealer. And her allegiance is a member of the Whisperers. Now let's take a look at her stats. Her attack stat is 16,927. Her HP is 15,986. And her defense is 14,105. Now let's take a look at her adrenaline rush. Shock Tactic. Recharge rate is 66 AP, so reasonably fast. Deal 2 attacks of 350% damage, 700% total, to a single enemy, up to up to other enemies get stunned, and 80% heal reduction for 2 turns. Now let's take a look at her signature move. First aid. The initial cooldown is turn one, number of cooldowns one turn, and number of uses unlimited. Attack an enemy for 200% damage. Up to two teammates recover from bleed. Hmm, okay, interesting. Now let's take a look at Lydia's myth mythic abilities. Agility, plus 20% increase in basic attack damage. Alpha's Daughter, plus 40% crit damage. Gruesome Display, when killing a enemy, a target, 40% chance an enemy gets normalized for two turns and containment. When an enemy revives, 40% chance a single enemy gets 30% infection for two turns. Now let's take a look at her specialist skill. Pretty much it's uh, it's Head Hunter. You guys know how Head Hunter works. It's Pretty similar to Crosshairs and Decap, so really no need. It's pretty much like Crosshairs, so no need to really go into it. Now let's take a look at her weapon. Lydia's Violent Dagger. Plus 30% attack, a medium bonus to AP when attacking. Bonus AP plus HP... All team members receive plus 8% AP and 8% bonus HP at the beginning of each wave. And this character's base crit chance to 100%. Alright, we'll just quickly go over everything one by one. Um, deal 2 attacks of 300%. 350%, so that's 700% 700, uh, 700 total. Two other enemies get stunned, and then they also get 80% heal reduction. This is really good. I think this is pretty good. I, I'm not sure what people think 
I think people think she's not bad, but they don't necessarily think that... I think she could be really good. I think she might be even better than Alpha. I mean, I don't know. I, I really don't have her yet. So, but she has the potential to be better, to be better than Gold Mythic Alpha. But, I mean, just like looking at her Adrenaline Rush, I think she's got a really solid Adrenaline Rush, to be honest. It's not bad. It's pretty good. I, I think it's real solid. Now, let's take a look her, at her signature move. Attack an enemy... Um, for 200% damage, not bad, it, it's, it's solid, I mean, it's not too bad, I think it's not as good as the Adrenaline Rush, obviously, but, you know, the signature moves are there to help get the AP up, obviously, so this is not bad, and then recovers from bleed, okay, I actually like that a, a lot, you know, just in case you're coming up against Zachary teams, and, if you don't, I think you can get that off, yeah, you can get that off turn one, so that's, um, yeah, okay, that's actually pretty interesting, so you can potentially have up to two teammates recover, that's the only downside to it, it's only going to be two teammates that recover from bleed, but it's better than none recovering from bleed, so, Hey, I mean, there's at least some sort of a counter to Zachary in her, a uh, and her signature move. Now let's take a look at her mythic abilities. Agility, obviously, I've I have highly definitely would recommend leveling up agility all the way on all of your damage dealers. So so you already know. Yeah, get that agility leveled up as soon as possible. And then Alpha's daughter, um 40% crit damage, yeah, that one could be a, I think that one would be worth leveling up as well, you definitely want to hit those crits, definitely, so definitely level that up for sure, um, gruesome display, when killing a target, um, 40% chance there, you can give, uh, normalize to an enemy, I think that would be a pretty decent one to maybe... I wouldn't set that as the number one priority, but I would definitely work on uh, that one for sure. Uh, let's see. Containment. Um, when an enemy revives, 40% uh, chance a single enemy gets 30% infection for two turns. I would definitely work on that last one. So... This is how I, this is how I would prioritize her mythic abilities. Agility, probably one of the top ones. Alpha's daughter for sure. And then containment, and then gruesome display. I would maybe leave to last, but I would work on that one just as much. So that's how I would uh, work on her mythic abilities, and. Let's look at her weapon. I like the 30% attack. That's good. A medium bonus to AP when attacking. Um, the bonus AP, HP. Uh, that's actually pretty good to get some um, HP. I mean, yeah, to get some a little bit of bonus HP and a little bit of AP. Especially if you have, um, you know, if you have multiple about two or three of the bonus HP AP weapons, that would be really good. That means you would have to have at least about two or three fast tunes on your team, but if you set up the right team, that could work really well. And then she, uh, the fourth slot, the character's base crit chance to 100%, that's pretty good. So she, Lydia, definitely has one of the better default gold mythic weapons right off the start but another weapon i think that would be pretty good is if um you get the five star shiny crew cree with the double attack um crit weapon that would be a really another good option if you rather do something than just get bonus 
AP, you know. So, yeah, you got two really good options for her weapon. And she's, hey, she's got a little bit of the, a little bit of the golf look going on there. That, hey, that's cool. I like her look overall, and I think she has the potential to possibly be better than Alpha, but that's not to take any way away from Alpha. But, um, anyway, I don't think I have much else left to say. So, that is going to do it for this video. If you guys want to jump down there to the comments and tell me what you think about Gold Mythic Lydia, or just to simply say hi, you may. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, and if you like my content, subscribe to see more. It would be much appreciated, and to those who are subscribed to me already, it is very much appreciated. You guys are very awesome, and I thank you again. I want each and every one of you to have a magnificent day and magnificent weekend as well. And don't forget to hit the bell and switch on all notifications so you know the second I upload to YouTube. I am Buckbeak. And I'm going to go fly away back to my nest. Until next time. Bye guys.